All right, episode two of Thrift versus Pawn. How did it go, Jen? Well, the stakes were high. We had a lot to live up from the last episode. So we started out strong at Salvation Army. Is that a question? It always is. Oh. We went into Salvation Army and uh, right over to the shelf, there was almost nothing and a crowd of people. And really it is what it is. There are people there looking at DVDs and CDs yes. and yes. It's, it's that area. It's in a corner. If you get three people there, it's like you can't even get in, you know. So we did a loop after the, you know. So we went to look for the glass case and it was not there. And we were like, where's your glass case now? Well, they moved a glass case over to the outside wall and there was more of nothing not there. I mean, I took a quick pan in it and it was yeah. just... There, uh, there really wasn't much of anything. Any kind of gaming related stuff. There, there was some stuff sitting on the shelf, kind of right in front of the cash. Yeah. Very generic stuff. The stuff that was sitting on the shelves by the DVDs on it. Very generic. Love yeah. was PC. I mean, I almost bought a PC game because I was panicking at the first stop. She was like, should I buy it? I'm like, are you going to play it? I was like, nope. Pro <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you buy it? <laughs> yeah. I just, it, I was going to panic buy. Did we leave Salvation Army empty handed? Well, no, because Scott got this. It sounds like we're in for a fun time and you're going to get dressed up for it. So that was a huge, that. Yeah, so we headed over to Valley Village. Maybe there will be another Super Nintendo game worth $850. And there was a zapper. <sighs> I tried to hold my breath. Yeah, don't hold your breath. I spit everywhere. We got it. We, we found a zapper and it was $40. <laughs> what in the hell were they thinking? Where are your cops coming from? I, I tried to justify it at first. I'm like, Jen, I don't even understand this. I would put this at 10 to 15 bucks. Yes. Because that's where in my head it, it should be priced at. Yeah. But then I was thinking, second guessing myself, maybe- It went up in Maybe price. that's old prices. Maybe for some reason it went up in prices and the zappers are rare now. No, <laughs> they're not. They're, they're not. not. eBay's lowest price for it was $12.99. So eBay price was $12.99. $12.99. Price it's charting eBay. was 21. And I'm like, you're still almost double the price charting price. Our hopes were as low as they could get. Well, we kept going. We kept going. <laughs> then Scott said, you know what? You know what? Let's go look at the consoles. This, this could be a game changer. <laughs> oh, I found something. Rant! So first thing we see is a PS1 and it's got a sticker on it that says faulty laser Does and not it's work. priced at $20. $19.99 or was it just a $20 sticker? It was $19.99 but okay. you know $20. My immediate thought was where's the power cable where's the video cable? If this was tested and mm -hmm. has a faulty laser where in the hell are the cables for it? They weren't with the console. Either A, maybe somebody unhooked them and pocket them and walked out with them. B, I'm thinking they parted them out, possibly if they mm -hmm. came with it, or they used some of their own there, either way. If they parted them out and bagged them and put them on the shelf over with the rest of the damn cords, then beep you. Like, yes. That's bullshit. You're, yes. you're parting that stuff out to try to make more money. I think it irritates me more than anything is because it's donations. Yes. Like you're trying to sell a broken piece of junk. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. It's almost worthless. Guys, this is our regular experience. Anytime yeah. we go to a thrift store, I wish it was different. I wish I could be sitting here and praising them. But we're in our local area, it just almost never happens except for the last episode, but this is this episode. So we walked away from that and we needed a little pick me up. We played around a little bit. Scott, do you think I'm a pretty woman? I mean, are you asking me if you're a whore? <laughs> Scott, 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 how are we gonna leave without Canada's hero? How I feel when I come thrifting. Scott, don't worry, I've repented and I've found Jesus. <laughs> why, why do I bring you with <laughs> There's no clip of, this is what Scott picked up that wasn't game related because we picked up nothing. We oh, just yeah. left. 
it's time for Parlor Pond to save the day yet again. <laughs> so we go to Parlor Pond and we're apprehensive. We don't even have a video if they have nothing here. We looked at the daily deals while we were driving. Yeah. I didn't ask them to put anything on hold. There was something I was interested in. We did pick up one the first time we were there and another the second time <laughs> when we went back. So here's the first game we picked up, Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. Game Boy Color. Yeah, it was priced at $39.99, $39.95, something like that. Yep. It does go for about $50 on price charting. Anything below price yep. charting in a pawn shop, to me, is a good deal. And I don't have a whole lot of Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Yeah. Even Game Boy Advance, we don't have a huge collection. We really don't. And we it's an RPG, and I was like, hey, I want to try Yeah. <laughs> I was there guys I did take some little video clips and pictures to show you guys that this is a regular occurrence there so cursed mountain was there for a great price we also had Kirby's return to dreamland was there for that a great was a good price. yeah there was there's lots of things any number of things we could have picked up but we're not just gonna pick things up for the sake of picking them up as we said before until Jen talks me into something until Jen talks them into something and then we come home and we decide to trade that game to another game. here's what started it off okay it's a Game Boy Advance game it's been there, let's say it was there before Christmas. Yes, definitely before Christmas. So it's gotta be there, it's, gotta, it's months. And it was priced well when it was there. And I kept saying, I'm shocked that somebody hasn't bought that. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked that has, somebody hasn't bought that. And then they lowered it to $10 more. And then I was really like humming and hawing there. But the first time I had seen it, you had talked me out of buying it. I talked him into buying a complete uh, DS game. Etrian Odyssey 3, The Drowned City. It's an Atlas game. Basically picked it up because... That was traded into the store, I do believe, at the height of the whole DS thing. When people were like, buy it now because the digital store is closing. So we have a bit of a wild idea. Hear me out. The thought is to trade that in, even though we bought it from the Perler not all that long ago, and possibly get instead. Remember what we paid for it? Like, open it up. We paid 200 bucks for that. Well, we didn't. We had trade bait, so we traded all our trade in, but it's worth 139 now. Ouch. Right? So, I don't know if we should just cut our losses and just go pick up <laughs> and see if we can do the same mistake twice. I took a bath on this one. <laughs> yeah, a, a little bit of a bath. So, we lost our shirt on it, but we did get this game which was a really good price. We got Demi Kids, the dark version. This one on price charting is about 150, 160. The We've... game that she talked me out of a few months ago. Yes. She talked me into it this time. So it was ten dollars cheaper. But the game that woman. she talked me into trading, we lost about a hundred. <laughs> we did. So it's a good deal. It's a great deal. <laughs> so yes, I'm a very persuasive and uh, not so intelligent woman. So. Uh, this one goes to Pawn this time. I, I think we have to give the win to Pawn. Well, if even if we just take what we paid for both of these games, what they're actually worth, I like we, we, we saved 20% on this for price trading. Yeah. I don't know what the math is on this one. But, but we'll put it up on here. And, yeah. and so we have to give the win. Now, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. We're doing a best of seven. At the end of this, does it go to the most amount saved or does it go to the most wins? If you haven't seen the first episode and this is the first one you're seeing, go back and watch the first yes. episode because we did find something that amazing. Is pretty damn cool. One win pawn, one win thrift. Tied up. Tied up. Anything you want to say before we end this video? Who's got home advantage at the next game? <laughs> Don't sports talk me here. I'll be way out of my depth. So I'm just having fun game hunting. I am too. It's pissing me off <laughs> for certain things. Or you're having a great time. Yeah, either way, I'm getting getting some stuff I want. Exactly. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for episode two. Who knows what episode three will bring, but until next time, game on. There. Okay, this one's for Mort, since I did such a great impression of it for the first time. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> I can't believe you made me record that. <laughs>